Hello everyone, welcome back to Sudokoda. This is Ravina, and today I'm gonna talk about the hard problem word ladder. Uh, let's start by reading the question here. Uh, it says that a transformation sequence from word begin word to end word using a dictionary word list is a sequence of words begin word and then it goes through a series of changes to S of K such that every adjacent pair of words differ by a single letter. Every S of I for uh, I is between 1 to K is in the word list. Note that the begin word does not need to be in the word list and S of K is actually equal to the end word. Given the two words, begin word and end word, and a dictionary of word list written the number of words uh, in the shortest sequ uh, transformation sequence from begin word to end word, or zero if there is no such sequence exists. Uh, so let's start uh, by actually understanding what the question is here. The question says that you will be given a begin word and the end word and a word list. So you have to start with your begin word, change one letter at the time, and then try to get the end word and you have to find the um, most efficient of the shortest transformation sequence to get to the end word and in the end you have to return the number of words that you have uh, in order to reach from uh, start begin word to the end word so let's try and understand uh, this simple example here example one uh, here the begin word is hit the end word is cog and then this is the word list so the shorter transformation would be the starting word is hit if you change i to o it becomes hot and then if you change the h here to d it becomes dot dot if you change t to g it becomes dog and then finally if you change d to c it becomes cock and that is our end word if you look at how many words are there in the sequence it's one two three four and five so this is five words long and hence the answer is five let's see how we can approach this problem uh, i have taken the same example i have a begin word end word and a word list the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, convert this word list into a set because i'm going to refer to this list and go through that list many times so it will be better if i convert it into a set so that it will give me a constant complexity after that, I'm going to create a queue, my queue. And uh, the first thing that is going to be there in my queue is going to be my begin word, which is in this case is hit. And then the number of word in, in the transformation. So uh, right now, there's just one word, the begin word. I'm going to pop that out uh, into my word and my count. My count is one, my word is hit. Since I popped it out, it's going to get, it's going to disappear from my queue. Uh, now, when I get my word, I am going to check if this is my end word. Is hit my end word? No, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to do my substitutions here. Uh, I, I, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take for the first letter, which is H. I'm going to replace it with all the uh, letters. All the alphabets so it's gonna be you know a b c d e f g all the way to z and i'm going to replace my head to h to a b c d e and every time i do this replacement i'm going to check oh this new word that i created is it in my word list if it is in my word list then i'm going to create a new element which is going to be my new word. So my new word that I've created and my count would be my count plus one because I created a new word. I'm one step forward. So that's why I'm going to increment my count and I'm going to have my new word and append it to my queue. So when I replace H with every other alphabet, I see that there is nothing in my word list that matches. Okay, so, okay. I exhausted H with all the alphabets. I'm going to move to I. Once I move to I, I'm going to replace it with, you know, A, uh, H, A, T, you know, H, B, T. So basically the middle letter is going to be replaced with all the alphabets. So at some point, I'm going to reach O and my letter is going to be H, O, T. When I see H, O, T, 
oh hot is in the word list so i'm going to create a new element with hot and then my count my count is one so plus one of my count which is going to be two and append it to my queue okay moving forward when i move forward uh i see uh you know anything with ot i at some point i'm going to reach h something t and i don't have anything else in my uh list so it's not gonna matter okay i i'll move on to t i exhausted i with a to z i just found one letter that matches and is in the word list okay move on to t i do h i a b c d till z i did not find anything in my word list once i exhaust the whole letter or uh, the whole word i go on to my queue again and pop the first element there so i get rid of this all my calculations all my permutation combination and i get on to my new word my new word is you know hot with count as two since i popped it i'm going to remove it from my queue now i concentrate on my first letter of hot and replace it with all the alphabets so it's going to be a o t b o t c o t and i get d o t when i create a new word every time i check in my word list and see if that is there in my word list once i reach d o t i say oh it's in my word list it's right here so i'm going to create a new element with d o t and my count is count plus 1 so count will be 3 since my current count is 2 move on moving on i get i you know do again substitutions at some point i'm going to reach lot lot is in my word list i'm going to create another element which is you know lot and my count will be count plus one count current count is two it will become plus one three and push it to my queue have you noticed we have two things in my queue and that's the reason this solution works because you know when you create an element when you go through every other permutation combination of that word you are actually taking care of what is the shortest distance and since it's a queue it will give you the shortest distance first and you don't have to worry about finding it through you know even if if, if it would have been you know depth first search it would have been difficult to find out oh how which one was the shortest again so this way you are going to reach the shortest path first right it's kind of it's actually breath first search uh, so i added two of uh two of my elements to the queue i move on i go to till z z and then i move on to o and i replace everything with o a b c d you know the list goes on then i move on to t i replace all the alphabets with t and if i find anything in the word list i just append it to my queue and increment my count by one whenever i pop things out of the queue the first thing that i do is check if my word is equal to end word and that's going to be my big condition if i find some if i find a solution where i am reaching the end word okay so let's uh, try and move on to the code and see how we can write the code So the first thing that I have to do is create my word or uh, set uh, convert my word list to a set. So I'm going to do set of word list. Next thing I need to create is my queue. So I created my queue. I'm going to append my start letter. So my sorry, my begin word. So I'm going to add my big list of my begin word and then the count. Now, while the queue is not empty, I want to do those operations. So while my queue is not empty, I'm going to pop from my queue. So my word and my count would be queue.pop of zero. And once I get the word, first thing, check if my word is my end word. So if my word is my end word, then just return the count. If that's not the case, then I go and you know do, do the substitutions. So for every i in range 
of my length of the current word. I'm going to uh, I'm going to substitute you know everything in A B C D. So there is there are two ways of doing it. You can either do A B C D E F G sorry G H I J all the way to Z, or there's other way of doing it in Python, which is string dot sky lowercase oops sky lower lowercase and then it goes from zero uh zero to twenty six so colon and anything is not before the colon so that makes it starting from the zero position to the twenty six so that actually gives me you know a b c d till c okay so uh next thing I'm going to do is create my next word my next word here very careful about this it should start with the starting point go to the i so how do you read this in python is you know this is the word this is a string there is nothing be before this colon that means that you are starting all the way in the start this i uh, is uh, basically the i index that we are talking about the one that we want to replace since in uh, python the i that we specify is excluded it really means uh, from zero to i minus one, that is included. So zero to i minus one, that means my i is excluded. I want to replace that i with my character c, and then I want to have the other part of the word. So my other part of the word would start with i plus one, and then go till the end. So this is how you want to create your next word. The first thing that you create uh, when you uh, you do when you create the next word is check if that next word is in uh, my word list so if next word is in the word list set if it is there then create append it to the queue right uh, you do next word and then append the next word and then count plus one since you have moved one step forward your count should always be one uh, count plus one once you append it to the queue there is one thing that you have to do. You have to remove that from the word list, that particular next word from the word list, because you don't want to encounter the same word again and again and get caught up in a loop. And uh, we have to use the word just once. So I'm going to remove it. So word list dot remove. I'm going to remove my next word. Once that's done, if what if I don't find anything I exhausted my queue you know exhausted uh, the whole list did every other combination permutation I get nothing in that case I just simply return zero let's try and see if we can run this okay submit it okay so you see this uh, code is accepted by lead code um, so let's talk about the space and time complexity here. Uh, if you look at the time complexity, the time complexity is really, you know, at one point you are going through the begin word to end word, that whole journey and the, the whole word list, right? So that is gonna be O of N. If you look at it, this particular thing for I in length of that word, so each word, we are going through every letter in each word and then replacing it with every alphabet, right? If you consider every word to be of L length, so that would be N into L, and you are replacing it with every alphabet. Alphabets are 26 alphabets, right? This particular for loop here. This is 26 alphabets. So it's going to be N into L into 26 because you have N words in the word list you are doing this for loop for uh, each word which is of L length and then you're replacing every character in it. So it's like, you know, inside loop. So it's uh, N into L into 26. The space complexity, however, is going to be N because your Q at a particular time might hold all the letters that are there in the word list. So that makes it, you know, O of N. I hope this uh, uh, this particular explanation was helpful. Uh, if you like my videos, uh, give it a thumbs up, comment below, that really helps my channel. This uh, code is gonna be on GitHub. I'll include the link in the description below. 
uh, I'm gonna make the same video in Hindi as well. So stay tuned for it. It should be released in three to four days. And I'm on Discord. So if you wanna connect, you know, just talk or have any suggestions for the videos you would like me to concentrate on or any videos you would like me to create, you can connect with me on Discord and discuss them or you can just leave a comment below. Uh, happy coding and I will see you next time.